three, two, one, swipe up. All right, what's going on my Freedom Fighters? Today I'm gonna show you how to use this Weeble app, little tutorial. Um, I have a, I made a little group on Facebook, so hopefully this will help you guys and everyone on YouTube. All right, so as you can see, I've opened up the Weeble app, and now these are all my positions. Okay, so this is what you're gonna see. This is probably gonna be blank for you because you're, uh, you don't have any if you're brand new to this. Uh, if I click this thing here, this will show all of my, uh, on my watch list, I have a bunch. So my watch list, you could either click on this, and I have, you know, a couple that, I have a lot, I'm probably going to delete a bunch of these, because it's, in your, in your Weeble app, it shows you all the information for like, um, all these different ones, or you could swipe right, dividend stocks, cannabis, EV, buy tomorrow, December, yada, 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 right? And uh, the last one I made was for January, which is all these. Okay, so that's watch list. That's the first little thing right there. Now we go to markets. Click on markets. This shows you um, the market in the United States, cryptos, global. I don't really use all this. All I use is United States. So this is going to be one of the main things that will help you top gainers so right now if I go to top gainers after hours it shows me everything every one of the stocks that after hours it's done good because it's top gainers or I could click five minutes or one day five days in the last month or in the last year right okay so that's good so that's the top gainers pre-market of course it's uh before the market opens which is at 9 30 New York time but for us in Chicago it's 8 30 uh, after hours, I believe it's 3.30, but for us it's 4 or something like that. Um, and then down here, best performing industries, same thing, same difference. Down here, top losers, same thing in the pre-market, the ones that have lost uh, after hours, on the same basic uh, concept. Most active. Here goes all of these. I have ZOM and BNGO. Uh, turnover. So that's one thing you guys would want to really use. You know, you could get some hype stocks and hot stocks that are going up in the last five minutes and you want to get in on the action. Okay. Then you got the middle button. I'll show you guys that in a second. That's the main one. Community. This is just exactly what it is. Community. Uh so the watch list all the info from where you're what you have on your watch list which is i have a lot so that's what i'm gonna try to trim the fat so menu middle button so right now it says i'm at 2164 and i'm up 700 right so let's sh okay so this is what happens when you press the middle button yours will probably have zeros on it and stuff and you're gonna have to deposit the 100 bucks or you don't have to deposit 100 but if you do, do deposit 100, you'll get the two free stocks. And if you use my link, I'll get one. And you'll get two. And we can win together. So it usually takes five days for the funds to settle. But it will give you funds to use automatically. Uh, like in a couple hours. And you could start buying stocks right away. But you just can't sell them because it's going to take a couple days for those hundreds to settle into your account now now when it's settled it's going to be right here where it says settled cash and then your buying power it's going to be probably the same uh and your cat i'm down 97 because i bought stocks with unsettled funds but um so in a couple of days that's going to go back to to zero i believe um so now this middle this middle bracket right here performance you could see all one year six months three five days okay these are basically the same thing so so performance is what you've done what you're doing transfer is how to deposit withdraw um and basically those are the really only two you would need to know once you start. So if you want to deposit, you would just 
and I've already deposited so that's why it says this but let's say I want to deposit make another deposit and I'll put a hundred okay transfer to Weeble and then and then you click that that uh, the box and then confirm and that's how you do it okay now let's go back to more more so you trade quick trade is what I showed you but that's gonna be a little bit uh, for more advanced IPO is basically the companies that are gonna be up and coming that aren't on the market yet but they're gonna be up and coming so if I wanted to order that one I would agree blah 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 and they're asking 20 I think or it says to be determined but the the offering price would be 20 for this one dynamic income PDO okay so like this one also this one's seven to eight bucks offering but at the offering end of date it could be different all right so that's for like up and coming ones, uh, new stocks on the market. Orders, that's everything I bought or sold in like the whole thing. Uh, account details, performance, funds. You guys don't really need to know all that stuff yet. Just transfer. Uh, and then paper trading for, for the beginners. Um, I would highly advise you guys to use this because if you don't want to waste your money or well you're not gonna waste it because when you invest you're, you don't go in there thinking you're gonna waste but paper trading helps you uh, build your knowledge on how to trade and buy and and uh, things of that nature so I would I would suggest you guys start with this but if you want to get the ball rolling put those hundred bucks and sprinkle them and say I don't know in like five to ten different stocks you could buy two stocks five dollars you know that's ten bucks and you have 90 more bucks so like that so let me go back okay now these are my positions right here I have 16 positions and when you buy and fulfill a stock it's gonna go to your positions open order means you bought a stock uh, and say you you wanted it for like five bucks and it's at four dollars or say you it was at four dollars and you want it at three because you always want it lower you'll 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 order it for three bucks and it'll be right here in the open orders and once it hits three dollars this open order will then go to your position so now you will have the stock okay so these three let me show you guys symbol all right, you see all these down. That's the name of the stocks. All these uh, quantity and market value. So the name of the symbol is PTE. That's a ticker symbol. That's what they're called ticker symbols. PTE, Polarity TE is called the company. Quantity. I have forty one shares of that, and the market value is forty nine dollars. Okay. The last and the average price. So. We're reading left to right. So the last price is $1.20. And the average price means the price I bought it at is $1.35. So you could see I'm down $6.15 and I'm down 11% on that, right? Let me click this here. This is the same one I just I was just talking about. So it, it tells you right here also, market value, $49. I have 41 of those stocks. The average price that I bought it at is $1.35, which cost me $55.35, right? But since it's down $6, the price of the stock now is $1.20. And if I would to sell it, I would only get $49.20 back, the market value. But I paid $55.35. And right here, down here, it says, filled record. The day that I bought it at, 114, which is today, at 724 in the morning because I thought I was going to... This one, CTRM and URG are the, uh, the three that I bought this morning thinking that they were going to uh, go up. So that's, a, that's one of the things that you have to remember with the stocks is... Uh, 
you never you never lose your money until you sell it or if the company goes bankrupt so let me show you let me show okay so so that's how you read th these pages all these are the same basically let's say i wanted to so let me click this this is what you call a penny stock because it's under a dollar now with penny stocks you could only you could buy you have to buy a hundred shares if it's under a dollar if it's over a dollar you could buy just one or two it doesn't matter but if it's under which this one is it's 0.94 uh, you have to buy a hundred shares, and then it's. But as soon as you could buy them, you could sell twenty or whatever if you want. You know, and you'll get you, that money back as long as it doesn't go down in those five seconds, because it it will go down or up that fast. Um, so I bought this. When did I buy this? On the eighth, so a week ago. Uh, so let's go to quotes. Quotes is is uh the the. Look, so so this is what the stock looks like, right? Five days ago, when did I buy it? Like a week ago? So I bought it when it was barely going up. When it was barely going up, right? And then it went up, went up, went That's why I'm up uh, 50 bucks. Now, you this is, this is one of the great things I like about this app. It shows you in the day what it did. And you could see this little sun. That's when the market opened. And the little moon is when it closed. So before, when you see this sun, before that, that's pre-market. And when you see this moon, after this moon is after hours. It's to BNGO, okay? Same thing. I bought it at, I have, if I sell right now, in total, I'm getting $564 for this one, right? Uh, and you could see that I kept buying first right here all the way at the bottom it says 12.29 I bought that's the day I bought 30 shares 12.31 it went up it started going up so I was like let me just get some more cause you know it's gonna and then it popped again to 4 something I was like let me buy and then it went up to $6 that's when I sold 10 I sold 10 and I think it gave me 64 bucks something like that right okay and then I bought 15 at 60 at 659 and then I bought again uh, like a week or two ago at 560 so I kept buying buying and buying um, because when you believe in a company you yeah you, you could buy the dips and when you when I say buy the dips I means like when it goes red uh, so I'm gonna probably buy more of this right now it's at seven dollars and24 cents right uh and i bought it at three dollars and seventy and seven oh nine cents so let's say okay yeah i was gonna show you how to sell so let's say I, oh no buy let's say i want to buy one of these at seven dollars i don't have seven because it says buying power so it'll tell you right there that you can't buy i'll click extended hours because it's after four and I will press buy and then I'll confirm it and then boom boom and as well as with selling say I want to sell all of this right selling it I could sell it and I'm gonna make 560 something bucks but I believe this stock will go up to $10 soon so i'm gonna just keep adding hopefully it dips under seven six something so the ticker symbol is bngo i'm gonna go to market type in bngo bio nano G G genomics boom okay so we're looking at the stock right now so before the market closed, it was at $6.95. Okay, you guys see that? After hours, under that $6.95, it says after hours. It rose to $7.23. So, say you wanted to cash out. You're like, all right, it's going to drop all the way back to... Because today, from it went up 
to, from five dollars to seven dollars. Say you you think it's gonna crash. There's some bad news, and you want to sell. You trade, sell, click all, total, or you know how many ever, and you sell. Boom, and it'll and then it'll uh it'll do it. I think after eight o'clock though you can't sell anymore. I I think that's that's a rule. So right here you see that it says uh, under the seven twenty three it says open. And previous close, so it opened at five seventy six, and the day before it closed at five sixty three. Today's range, the day's range, five fifty four, and it close and and it went all the way up to seven ninety five. That's just the range. And if you click this volume button, it gives you a little bit of its information. Here, market cap, like how much it it has or how much it it uh the company is worth. I think that's what it is. The average volume uh, in the last three months, the volume today, which is 235 million. I think a uh, free float is the amount of shares that are that are available or something like that, which is, is it, it gets it gets real technical. So here, one day in the last five days, in the last month, three months, and you could see basically maximum, okay. I think its max was was seven hundred. I mean seven dollars and some cents. So we're like already almost surpassing it. Okay, and then this button it's like different different uh, ways to view it, and it gets real technical. I don't really like this. All I do is the first one to be honest. Okay, so that's what that is right now. I'm gonna go lower here, just swiping up the quotes. This is. The green is what they're buying, and the red is what they're selling at. So somebody sold 1,000 shares at $7.24. Somebody bought 100 shares at $7.17. The news, this is the news. This is going to help you. It's going to tell you what's happening, this and that, yada, yada, yada. Okay? That's good. Comments. Got to read the comments. Take it with a grain of salt because... Um, these are people who try to convince you that the stock is bad, which are the are the uh, bears. That's what that I don't know why, but in the stock market, bears are people who believe the stock will go down, and bulls are people that believe the stock will go up. Okay, just so you could guys have a little. So if you see like a bear run. They're saying, okay, it's going to go down. Or if you're feeling bullish, like right here, bullish. It says stock predictions. BNGO rose 133%. Your prediction is correct and you earn one point. Bullish, right? Boom. Bearish means that it's going to go down. Analysis. This is what their, what their uh, analysis is of the, of the stock. Uh... All this again, it's uh real technical, you know. But so this is for beginners. Press release, bunch of shit that I don't even know. Financials, okay. Profile. This is one thing that you guys really need to to look at when you look at a company. This tells you everything the company is based upon, what it does, and um, and what what uh it just that what it what does the company do this is what the profile is okay and this little star up on top you click it and you can create a watch list i'm going to create one let's say for february febrero cool save it i'm going to come down here click it on february done I just put this BNGL stock on my watch list for February. So say I want to my watch list. I'm going to come to this, go to February. Boom. Now I could now instead of searching it, I could just go to February, click it and this is everything that I need to know. All right? That's pretty much the breakdown of 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 all of these of how this thing is working. Um Let's see what else. So, 
I'm back here in the middle button. If you click it again, this open P and L, it shows you all the ones that are doing, it, it lines it up from best to worst. All right. Here, do it again. Now it lines it up from worst to best. Or one more time, and it lines it up from the most active, basically, to the to the least active. Okay. So let's look at this one. I've been in this one. I've been uh, pumping in money because I believe it will do good in the future. I've been holding this since the since uh, the twelve oh seven. It's the first time I bought it. Kept going up, went up, went up, and then now. So I so this one, if I I'm down forty bucks, right? The market value is two hundred and three dollars, and I pay two hundred and forty-four, which is the forty bucks that I'm down. The average price that I bought it at was a dollar and seventy cents, and the last price is one dollar and forty cents. I have a hundred and forty-three of these forty uh, of these single stocks. Um, so let's look at it. In the last day, it's doing okay. The five days, not so good. I think I bought it in one of these dips and the dips is like when it goes down and they say buy at the dip sell at the high so I think it's gonna do good I'm gonna hold and also another thing guys you never lose your money unless you sell it unless you sell this stock which I'll lose 40 bucks or if it goes bankrupt but it's that's like really highly unlikely that it'll go bankrupt Okay, so positions, same thing. Options, options play is a thing that I haven't got into yet, but basically options means you could either bet that the stock is gonna go up or go down. And you can make money if the stock is losing money, which is pretty cool, But so I need to really learn how to get into that. Um, so, Okay, so that's what that is. So trade is to buy or sell. Position is what my my position is. Options is that what I said? You could and, and it, it gets real technical with positions. I don't know how to use them yet, so I don't recommend it. Comments you could write whatever on the on the Weibo thing and be like, damn BS, right? And if I go to comments right here. Right there, that's me. This is some real shit, okay? Because I'm down $40, son of a bitch. Now, if I go to more, this is another thing that, another good tool that I like. I can click alert, and I can put it as uh, price below, let's see, it's at, last price is at 131.3. So, if I want to get alerted, if it goes... Any lower, let's say one dollar and twenty cents, then I'll save it. Okay, save successfully. Alert. Or if I want to come down here and I'll click the percent that I want it to go down, or sharp rise. See, I have it on sharp fall, cause uh, but I took it off cause it keeps going down, and I mean I, I don't want to keep getting nervous about that shit. So that's a quick overview on how this app works. Um, as you can see, I'm doing okay for now. And it's partly, mostly because <clears throat> I've been holding and not selling, which is what I'm going to do with these three stocks that I bought. Because uh, I don't want to lose my... I mean, if I could sell it, I'll lose six bucks or a dollar or four dollars and fifty cents, which is not a lot. But I'm not here to lose money, so... Um, what else? I think that's pretty much it for now. Remember, put stocks that you think are going to go good in your watch list. Start on paper trading if you want to get the hang of buying. So let's let's just, I don't think I could buy because it's after hours, but let's just try right now. Uh, quick trade. Let's do one Tesla stock. It's at 800 See, it says paper trading down here. Boom. I want to buy two of those. Okay. Extended hours. Plus 
place order. Order has been sent. Now, I don't think it's going to uh I don't think it's going to work because see how it open order? So, until the market opens and I clicked extended hours, so it should be around I think it opens for extended hours 5 in the morning or something like that. Um that's what I, I'm gonna get it as soon as it uh, if it stays at eight hundred and forty five dollars a share I will get that um, I will get those stocks and then it'll appear here in my position um and one of the good things is that like this one AMPE if you think it's gonna do good and you see it and you see losing money uh, that's what's called buying the dips and averaging down uh, so I keep buying because I think it's going to go up and then hopefully it will. So that's pretty much basically what's going on right now. Uh, hopefully this helps. If you guys have any questions or comments, um, feel free to write me a message, shoot me a message. Remember deposit a hundred bucks with my link, email me, I'll email you the link and it takes about five days, a little bit less than that. For me, it took less to uh, to get that money settled. And another thing with Weeble, you can't buy fractional shares. You have to buy the full share, which with like Robinhood, I think if you could put like 50 bucks in Tesla and you'll get that percentage from like the 800 that's originally, you know, it's 800 a stock. So those are fractional shares. You'll put 50 bucks, you'll get a piece of one share whatever 50 bucks you know divided by 800 is or whatever the fuck so that is basically what's going on here all right guys that's that's it peace out